My name is Alec McQuarter. I am the Senior Bomb Disposal Officer of the Explosive Ordnance Disposal Bureau, the EOD Bureau of the Hong Kong Police. And my bureau deals with a number of types of devices, including improvised explosive devices, otherwise known as homemade bombs, um, UXOs, unexploded ordnance, predominantly from World War II, both on land and underwater, and uh, we also deal with CBRM, chemical, biological and radiological types incidents. TATP is, uh, is an explosive. It's been used by many different organizations of criminals and we've had experimenter school kids making it in Hong Kong. Um, when you can't necessarily easily access or get hold of other types of high explosives, if you look and can get hold of the raw materials, you can make the ATP. Since the start, um, we've had, as far as I'm aware, three separate cases of TATP. One was about five months ago where there was over a kilogram of TATP present during a police raid. And then last week, or the week before now, there were another two cases of much smaller quantities uh, of TATP found in the possession of um, a couple of teenagers. Maybe you're talking about a homemade explosive such as THP specifically. Um, clearly it depends on the quantity. No! What? 50 grams if you're trying to visualize it. It's not a huge amount. It is less than the volume of my fist. So very small. You can easily put it in. It would fit, for example, you could put 50 grams into a cigarette packet. If someone's holding it in their fist, if it's in their pocket and it explodes, then you are looking at potentially life-changing injuries. And given the sensitivity of these explosives, it doesn't require a circuit. It will respond to impact, to friction, to heat. So it's quite easy to imagine a complete accident where these would just function in somebody's pocket being taken from A to B.